Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. I am Deacon Julius Bailey. My wife is Minister Linda Bailey. I will be speaking in her absence. We have been given the distinct pleasure of introducing our honorees this morning. Bishop C. Wayne Brantley, who was pastor, husband, father, grandfather, counselor, and master teacher. There are so many different characteristics and attributes to describe Bishop Brantley. What I admire the most about Bishop Brantley is his love for God and his love for the people of God. On November, on November 8, 2016, just 16 days from today, the most important election in the history of our country will take place. If I could just take you back for a moment, take you back, if, if I could just for a moment, turn back the hands of time, I would take you back to June 30th, 2004. Zion Pentecostal Church of Christ held the most important election in its history. It was this election that we elected Bishop C. Wayne Brantley as pastor and successor to our founder, District Elder Donnell L. Lipford. I'm certain that in his 12 years of pastoralship, Bishop has not only questioned himself, but God as well. Did I make the right decision? God, did I hear you correctly? We, the Zion family, are grateful that you stayed the course and you allowed God to lead you. First Lady Darlene Brantley, introduction. My wife regrets that she could not be here today, but she wrote an affection and address from the heart. She writes, First Lady Darlene Brantley is so often called Lady Dar. It's just a coincidence that both her names are the root of the word so best describes our First Lady, Darling, D-A-R-L-I-N-G. My wife Linda says when she thinks of someone who is Darling, there are a few other adjectives that come to mind. Precious, affectionate, lovely, and well-loved by many. All traits, she assures you, First Lady Darlene embodies. Linda and the women of Zion are so honored and privileged to have Lady Dar stand faithful and true for 12 years here at Zion. More importantly, she stands out front among the best. Best, She has passionately and faithfully implemented the programs that God has given her. Lady Dar is very enthusiastic about what she does and the results of those plans, so she plans well. She is a real darling and jewel that is cherished and loved. Yeah. To the children, Carlene, Christopher in his absence, Cameron, Corey, and Brandon. After 12 years, the words of expressions have not changed. We say thank you for your support, commitment, dedication, and most of all, for the sharing of your parents. Please, congregation, if you would stand with me. Please put your hands together for our honorees this morning. Bishop C. Wayne Brantley, First Lady Darlene Brantley, Carlene, Christopher and his absence, Corey and Brandon. Come on, church, come on. You may be seated at this time. Bishop and First Lady, our young people have gathered this morning, our young, young people, our little ones have come to make a presentation to you today. We're gonna to ask you if you can go down 
you all move over a little bit and let Pastor and First Lady come down and sit because they want you to be in front of them so that you can see the presentation. We want you to put your hands together this morning for our children. Praise the Lord, everybody. Children's Church is so excited to be a part of the pastoral celebration on today. So we have created an acrostic poem to convey to Bishop and First Lady what you all mean to us. So we pray that your heart will be warm. for outstanding we are taught but we are taught each week v is for the vitality vision and victory pastor and minister brantley displays to the saints continually e is for the warm embracing that our first family greets us on sunday morning Y is for the delicious, the yummy, scrumptious, delicious desserts prepared by our first lady. <laughs> o is for the obedient, observant, and open-hearted path shepherd God has great Zion with. U is for unique. Bishop Brantley is a unique, one-of-a-kind pastor whose love and commitment is unstoppable. Okay. One, two, three. No, start all over. First family. One, two, three. Bishop and First Lady, I, I just have to tell you, we were going to try to spell out happy pastoral anniversary. <laughs> but we figured we'd be here till next October trying to spell that out. So we thought we'd modify it for you. So also, the children would like to present you with a fresh bouquet of suckers. <laughs> Go ahead and give that to her. So whoever has a sweet tooth in the house, you're all set. We also had to make that project quickly because I was losing the supplies. I looked up and there were more suckers in their mouths than there was with the project. So we had to move swiftly before we lost the supplies. But First Lady and Bishop, we want to let you know that you are wanted, needed, and loved here at Zion. 
Okay, I know that's what we normally say, but you are wanted, needed, and loved here. And we thank God for you. We appreciate you. We love you, and God bless you. We're going to call on Sister Veronica Hoyt. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, put those hands together. Isn't this a great day in, in the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We get an opportunity to honor our first family, our pastor, our first lady. And guess what, y'all? We ain't at a funeral, so y'all need to get happy. Okay? Get happy about the Lord and how he has poured into Zion leaders that will lead, that will take the charge, and that will teach the word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, in honor of your 12 years of service, Bishop, First Lady, and from the city of Cleveland, and on behalf of the mayor, Mayor Jackson, we, the members of the Pastoral Appreciation Committee, would you please stand, members of the Pastoral Appreciation Committee, and with the helping hands of your secretary, Sister Phyllis Lipford, if she's in the house, we would like to present to both of you today this proclamation from the mayor. Now, I'm going to need a little help. I'm not going to try to read everything here because it's in small print. Certificate of recognition from the office of Mayor Frank G. Jackson, city of Cleveland, Ohio. 12th pastoral anniversary of Bishop C. Wayne Brantley, Zion Pentecostal Church of Christ. It is my pleasure to present the certificate of recognition to Bishop C. Wayne Brantley of Zion Pentecostal Church of Christ on the occasion of his 12th pastoral anniversary being celebrated Sunday, October 23rd, 2016. Bishop Brantley, First Lady Darlene Brantley and their family have been an inspiration and a pillar of hope and strength to the men and women of the church. Bishop C. Wayne Brantley assumed this pastoral leadership of Zion in 2004. He holds a Bachelor's of Arts degree in telecommunication from Youngstown with graduate coursework in guidance and counseling and is also the Chief Executive Officer of Thrive Economic Development Corporation, a community development nonprofit organization. His dedication and commitment to the members of this church and the community is evident. I invite all Clevelanders to join me in congratulating Bishop Brantley as he celebrates this joyous occasion and wishing him many more years of successful service and happiness. Signed, Frank G. Jackson, Mayor, City of Cleveland. But I just wanted everyone in the church to know our pastor is awesome, okay? Awesome. And by now, everybody should be standing on their feet, letting the Lord know how good and how kind and how great this man of God and this woman of God are here in the city.
I'm sorry, and this is not, this is just a token. We have experienced your love. We have experienced your work. We have experienced your commitment. And saints of God, if the city can recognize our pastor, then what should we be doing right now? Amen. <laughs>